Hello, this is Father Daniel Kim, Marital Missioner, and welcome to our daily Gospel reading and reflection. Today's Gospel reading is according to St. John, chapter 2, verses 13 to 22. Since the Passover of the Jews was near, Jesus went up to Jerusalem. He found in the temple area those who sold oxen, sheep, and doves, as well as the money changers seated there. He made a whip out of cords and drove them all out of the temple area with the sheep and oxen and spilled the coins of the money changers and overturned their tables. And to those who sold doves, he said, Take these out of here and stop making my father's house a marketplace. His disciples recalled the words of Scripture, Zeal for your house will consume me. At this the Jews answered and said to him, What sign can you show us for doing this? Jesus answered and said to them, Destroy this temple, and in three days I will raise it up. The Jews said, This temple has been under construction for forty-six years, and you will raise it up in three days? But he was speaking about the temple of his body. Therefore, when he was raised from the dead, his disciples remembered and he had said this, and they came to believe the scripture and the word Jesus had spoken. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. Today we celebrate the Feast of the Dedication of the Lateran Basilica in Rome. Built during the time of Emperor Constantine, it is the oldest church building in the West. The name Lateran comes from the family name Laternus, a privileged Roman family who were previous owners of the property where the basilica has been built. As we know, with the reign of Emperor Constantine, Christianity transitioned from an illegitimate to a legitimate religion in the Roman Empire. And the Lateran Basilica marks as both a physical and political turning point in the history of our Christian faith. As significant as the Lateran Basilica is to our faith, as well as any other church structure, we need to understand the foundation of the Catholic Church does not lie on buildings, rather on the living body of Christ manifested within the hearts, minds, and good deeds of the faithful, in other words, the people of God. And the Gospel today clearly reminds us of this. The temple served as the earthly footstool of God and was the central place of worship for the Jews. It was a structure of identity and stability for the Jewish people. But Christ points not to the stones of the physical edifice, rather to himself, which through our baptism, we are members of the spiritual body of Christ. And this is encapsulated in the theological understanding of Missio Dei, or the mission of God, where the mission has a church, not the other way around. Therefore, we all are at our core missioners, heralds of the good news of Christ in this world. That is the tremendous role each and every one of us has through our baptism. However, the question is this, how will we carry this out in a way that mirrors the unique and special set of gifts given to us by God? Thank you for listening to today's Gospel reading and reflection. Please be sure to tune in again tomorrow. Have a blessed and unique day. If you enjoyed today's gospel reading and reflection, please make sure that you subscribe wherever you're listening to podcasts. Also, if you know somebody who may find value in today's reading, please make sure that you share it with them. To learn more about how you can support the work that Mary Knoll does around the world, please visit us at MaryKnollSociety.org. And if you're interested in subscribing to our online magazine, please feel free to visit us at MaryKnollMagazine.org. Thank you once again for spending your time with us today, and God bless.